I mean, no Spielberg here all of a sudden. There you go. Three, two, one. Action! All right, get that dinosaur. Get that dinosaur under control. We're going to win that Academy Award. Get that damn T-Rex from Stop Eating Everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry it's been a while since you've seen our two uh, faces. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but it is time again for another episode of the Reno and Doc Show. That is a guy who never wants to see any northern state ever again. Yeah. <laughs> and I am your... Especially faithful, as cold as it gets during the winter. And I am your faithful news anchor. Yeah. And a Hillary supporter. Which is why I got him Play-Doh and some crayons. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm still depressed. So I picked him up some Play-Doh and some crayons so he why don't, could why don't kinda you take me to see be upset over the fact that Hillary lost. Why don't you go see me... Just just take me to see that new Star Wars movie. We'll oh, call God, it no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've seen the advertisement on that. I was like, fuck you. I was, I was sitting there I was sitting there seeing that, you know, when, when they announced it, I'm just like, so it's going to go to DVD, it's going to be a cartoon, they're releasing it in theaters. Oh, God, no. All right, well, folks, let's get on with Reno and Doc Show. Yeah, you, we know you. We we know you've missed us for the last couple of weeks, so we're back with more weird stories. Most of them about how sometimes a little silly the police can be. But let's start things off with two men in Kentucky accidentally pocket dialed nine one one while talking about robbing a barbecue joint. That'd be a hell of a conversation. It really did. I mean, you, you know, sit so there. Well, let's, let's let's rob this place, man. We gotta rob it. Why the fuck is there somebody on the goddamn phone? <laughs> This is the police. Oh, shit. Did you dial 911? You fucking snitch. I didn't dial my pocket did. Shoot that motherfucker. Gonna shoot the pocket. That's my damn leg. (laughs) I don't care. It's snitch. Some Some sad news to report this week. A slow-moving train in Pennsylvania halts for people who were hoping to compete in the Boston Marathon. Oh, it's so horrible. Are we done being sad yet? Because I'm getting uh, bored already. I guess. You're getting bored already. we still got more stories to tell the people. Well, that story was just kind of boring. Like, you know, train holds well, up I a few mean, people. I mean, that, Wah. Is, that is kind of messed up. They were hoping to compete in the Boston Marathon, and a train comes through, and I'm like, well, that's what you get when your path is a, it's on train tracks. Shove some donuts out in front of them, and they'll run right through that fucking train. <laughs> Probably a bunch of chubby people like, here's some food, come on! Train gets actually, derailed today. Actually, uh, part of the story said something about one guy somehow. I, I guess there was an opening in the in the train. He just kind of hopped the train, jumped over, it and stuff like that. And I'm like, "Whoa, you're an idiot." That's obviously wanting to be there. <laughs> A meat and potato pie is launched 100,000 feet into space. Well, I guess they think that somebody up there is hungry. Well, I guess that they think that there's. We're life. here. We're going to feed the poor. Who the hell's the poor? <laughs> Whichever fucking alien grabs the food first. Exactly. Maybe Alf might grab it. I don't know. Who knows? I imagine a lot of you won't get that joke, and that's okay. Our Lord Zed. Lord Zed. Power Rangers. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> if neither one of you get those jokes, then that's all right. You're too young anyway. And why are you watching this anyway? <laughs> <laughs> if you're like five years old watching this guy cussing his brains out, why are you... Never and guess. if you're in college, we prefer you didn't watch either because we don't want to give out Play-Doh and crayons. We don't have them, sorry. We don't give a fuck. An armed robber in San Bernardino, California flees an adult store when two female work- workers throw sex toys at him. <laughs> throw the deal, though, Addy! Throw the deal, though, Addy! Fuck, that thing's bigger than mine! Shit! I never want to read anything but anything happened at a sex toy sex toy <laughs> store ever again because, yeah, never mind. A Canadian man was fined six thousand dollars for trying to smuggle lizards across the border. Well, hell, the Mexicans come across the border, so he decided to bring the lizards. I think he was trying to sneak them across the Canadian. Trump border. better build a wall. <laughs> uh, damn, we got to build a wall for the Mexicans. Now we got to build one for the lizards. And for Canadians, apparently, I guess. <laughs> Oh no! I think the wall for Mexico would be a great idea, but that is, that is so stupid. You know, like I'm I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> wall for the Mexicans, and let's say let's put a fence out there for the damn lizards. They've decided they want to be illegal yeah, too. Yeah. Where's your green card? It's a fucking lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your boss, Donald Trump? Oh, that explains it. Who's your boss, Hillary Clinton? Oh boy, no wonder you guys are coming across here illegally. Illegal lizards. 
coming to get welfare and food stamps. <laughs> oh, the stories just keep getting weirder. Electricity <laughs> went out in Seattle due to a fish being on a power line. I don't know how to fuck that out. I'm trying... I want to know how that fish was able to jump that high and go, look, something to chew on. Wee! I, I don't think there's any waterfalls. And what, some idiot that. running around catching fish saying, oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, don't have to worry about frying it. <laughs> no shit. Squirrel stole my food, motherfucker. <laughs> Police in Florida are searching for a man who robbed a gas station with a drawn-on beard. Where the hell was Obama at? I, I don't know. That sounds like something stupid he'd do. Well, actually, you know, we haven't really contacted a lot of our friends here lately. We haven't heard anything out of that. Are we sure Hillary didn't do it? I don't know. It's her style of drawing a beard. Well, I mean, you know, Steve hasn't hasn't contacted us in a while. And, oh, yeah, yeah. It's been and me Rick, for the last Ricky, couple of days saying the same with Ricky hasn't, shit. and our ex-roommate Ella, so that might... What do you want to hear, barking? <laughs> oh, Lordy. More... Anytime that woman contacts anybody, it's... Bloop, bloop, rah, rah, rah. He's so mean. <laughs> More police stories. Police in... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I, I misplaced that one. Uh, officers in New Jersey rounded up a group of suspicious donkeys that were lo- loitering around a residence. So what are we going to do with them, boss? Take them to jail? They're donkeys. Hillary said take them to jail. That explains it. Well, donkeys represent Democrats. That might explain maybe they a lot. Were, maybe they were Republicans. Maybe that's what they were telling them. Like, uh, they're saying donkeys, and what they're really saying was six Democrats were uh, running around the house trying to figure out how to steal somebody's food. What's wrong with you guys? Welfare won't give us nothing, so we got to find food. All right, what have you got out of that donkey? Well, nothing. Just acting like a jackass. What'd you get out of that one? Bitching about how she can't be the president and wanting to recount. We've been trying to get a confession out of that donkey for, for the past six hours. We'll just keep saying, bah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or yeah, yeah. Sorry, I ruined that joke. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, Go ahead and destroy it. Police, <laughs> police in New York break a cart. <laughs> police in New York break a car window to rescue a woman who appeared to be frozen to death. Turns out it was a mannequin. Ma'am, we're gonna be able to save you. Poor thing froze dead. What the fuck? Why? Why does this feel like plastic? Give it, give it CPR. <laughs> uh. Jay. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Price, <laughs> your wife's made of plastic. Uh, I'm sure that's never stopped him before. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, it could be, you know, he just takes another friend to the back room and lets to Metallica while they're in the dark. Is that just cruel? Especially since they won the album of the year at the uh, Revolver Awards. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Metallica. I thought you were talking Steven, Steven and Dumbass. No, 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 no. They won the sexuality reward <laughs> for the two guys that's the most suspicious going in a dark room and coming out while one zip it up. And I was trying to comfort him. You notice how fast he removed that comment after he put it, put it on him there. Uh, that's pretty much what Obama said about Biden. A couple in New York had a gift sent to them by UPS that turned out to be an assault rifle. Hillary sends it to him, puts on a note, this is why we need gun control. You're the one that sent him to him, bitch! <laughs> I think the thing was is that they were watching the Christmas story and somehow got inspired to get a BB gun and turns out they got an assault rifle and they went, where the fuck were they ordering from? <laughs> where are we going to order this from the Hells Angels? A BB gun, says special BB gun. <laughs> Fucking thing's assault rifle. With a note on it says, you'll shoot your eye out. It's an assault rifle. I think I'll have to worry more about shooting my eye out. Somebody who watched that movie knows what, what that's all about. A te- oh, boy. A Texas zoo has set up a registry for a pregnant orangutan couple complete with bubble bath and a Dolly Parton CD. Oh, no, that is something. <laughs> they listen to Dolly Parton and the male whatever looks over at the woman and says, your tits ain't as big as hers. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, probably not as disgusting as this bit of news, which is so friggin' stupid. But ironic, when you think about it. A woman in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, 
stole a baby Jesus figurine, then drops it off at a hospital with a note saying it had been neglected by his parents. <laughs> I want to know what that fucking woman was on. Yeah. The fuck was she... She she either was drinking or taking something. Yeah, and, and she actually put on the note, too, the names of, of the baby Jesus' parents. And I'm going... <sighs> Okay, well, hopefully none of this stuff offended you guys, especially that last bit, but now it is time for the Facebook facepalm of the week. And uh, this one won by a landslide. <laughs> Y'all have until December 18th at midnight central time to cast your votes on the name of this little pup. Which is one of her kids. The, cho- <laughs> the choices are Cane, Bear, and Banjo. And this is what you try to name one of her kids. Well, she calls her dogs her damn kids. She gives them names like they're fucking children. Yeah, and she actually posts on Facebook every once in a while about how she's a proud little mama. And you guys puppies. got till tomorrow to come up with more of these stupid ass names. Yeah. So if you guys want to partake, so in the if vote, you want to partake, uh, put it in the comments. Put below. down bark bark rough rough, and she'll get it. <laughs> well, make sure to send her your suggestions on her Facebook page. But do it in the bark bark language. Yeah. <laughs> because she won't understand anything else. <laughs> You're evil, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's uh, the Reno and Doc Show. And hopefully we'll be back um, next Saturday for a special Christmas Eve edition of the Reno and Doc Show. I'm pretty sure there's going to be plenty of really insane Christmas And don't forget to subscribe to me and then subscribe to Dr. Metal Freak. Check out all the new videos we come up with and we'll do. And you know uh, we'll have one for New Year's. We don't know what it'll be yet, but we will have one. And then we'll probably... Well, uh... Let's see the playoff. Well, the next ones we're going to be doing our our playoff picks. Go 49ers! <laughs> I think a big thing on the, on the uh, New Year's talk is going to be a lot about you know Donald Trump winning the election and different things like that. So it'd be it'd be surprised. interesting. So y'all tune in. We'll see you guys next week for the Christmas Eve special. Hopefully, until then, peace out, and we'll see you then.